Hey everyone, we said it time and time again on this channel. Among all the upcoming hair loss treatments, pyrolutamide is probably the one that deserves the most anticipation. It's the one with the most data supporting its efficacy and safety, and it's the one that will probably get approved and released into the market the sooner among all the others. Or so we thought. About one month and a half ago, I posted a video on my channel talking about the estimated release date of pyrolutamide, which I recommend you go watch it right after finishing watching this video. And in that video, I talked, of course, about the safety and efficacy of pyrolutamide and how it compares to finasteride, but I also talked about the release date. And if you didn't watch that video, we basically said that Dr. Tong, the CEO of Control Pharma, announced the completion of enrollment of phase three clinical trial in China, the results of which will be announced in Q4 of 2023. And if the results came back to be positive, Dr. Tong said that the company will immediately proceed with the NDA new drug approval with the Chinese medical authority. So we made in that video a little conclusion that the drug will be hopefully in the market by the end of 2024. It could be even possibly in the market by mid 2024. Regarding its release in the US, it's a little bit different. And if you remember, we said that the results of the phase three clinical trial in the US will be announced in the end of 2024. So we could expect pyrolutamide to be released into the US market by the end of 2025. But we also said that once it has been approved in China, it would be a much easier process to outsource it and to get it in the US. And it would give us a sense of confidence about how the drug and how the safety of the drug is. That's the latest news that we got and we were so happy and we were cheering about it until we got this one. Buckle your seats guys because you won't like this one. A new study have been announced on July 19th called Long-Term Safety Trial. It was announced by Dr. Tang and this long-term safety trial is a multi-center open-label phase 3 clinical trial which will involve a total of 16 clinical research centers in China with Professor Zhaizong Zing of Peking University People's Hospital as the leading principal investigator. Again, I apologize if I butchered that pronunciation. I have no idea how to say it correctly. Probably my fault, I didn't study Chinese, which is on a quick tangent, such an interesting language to me, by the way. Anyways, that's the topic maybe for another video. This long-term safety trial will have 270 subjects, males and females, with androgenetic alopecia. The primary endpoint of this trial is gonna be the incidence of treatment emergent adverse events. And the secondary endpoints will include the efficacy as measured by the change in target area of non villous hair count from baseline and other safety indicators. Please note and don't forget that this trial is in addition to the phase three trial for male androgenetic alopecia, which began in January 2022 in China. And you may be wondering why would Kintro Pharma engage in another trial? Wouldn't be the phase three clinical trial that it already started uh, enough for evaluating the safety, the long-term safety? Well, it may be this case because the Chinese regulatory agency requested that Kintro complete a longer phase three trial than the original 24 trial, which began last year, again in January 2022. And regarding the question, what can you exactly take from this information? Our friends from uh, Follow Call Thought, which I salute immensely for their great work that they're doing, and also me personally concluded from this information that at this time it appears that the potential approval timeline for KX826 per lutamide may be pushed back until the completion of the latest safety phase 3 trial, which we have no idea when the results will be available of. If you've been following until this point, you may feel a sense of disappointment, you may feel a sense of hopelessness. Um, I feel it too, because I personally was waiting for per lutamide to be approved at least in the end of 2024, but this new step will push us back to at least one year or two years uh, behind that date. What can you do guys? We should just wait and keep in mind that these kinds of extra steps and requirements that maybe the Chinese regulatory medical organization asked for Kinter Pharma to do, 
um, all of these are put in place to protect us, the users and the patients, when using a particular compound that's especially brand new. Remember that perlurumide is a brand new compound developed by Kinto Pharma exactly and exclusively for androgenetic alopecia. This is not the uh, old drug like, for example, in the case of vertoporfin that has been used for years now in ophthalmology for macular degeneration and we're looking for its utility in hair loss and in preventing scarring post hair transplant. This is not that case. This is the case of a completely new compound. So as you're feeling that sense of hopelessness, again, you should keep in mind that these kind of steps are put in place to protect us. In the meantime, guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. I say it in every video about pyrolutamide and I keep receiving these kind of comments. Hey, Fedi, where can I buy the product? Do you have a link? Where can I buy the product? Do you have a service? Do you have um, any website that can uh, outsource the product for us? And my response is time and time again, please do not make that mistake never buy pyrolutamide or for that matter any compound from the unofficial sources because one you never know if those particular sources or websites have the original formula of pyrolutamide so you may be buying protein powder or anything else and the second thing is you should wait for the official approval once the official approval is made, then you can feel confident buying that particular compound and by then you can buy it from the official sources. So please never buy, I never do it and I think you should never also do it. I even looked one time at one other YouTuber who was offering GT20029. So imagine buying perlurumide which is in the phase 3 uh, phase of the uh, approval stage but imagine buying a compound that's still in the phase one. I mean, that was mind blowing to me how this YouTuber had the audacity to, um, to even offer his viewers uh, GT20029. And I don't even know or can explain to myself how did he get the formula or how the service he's uh, sponsored by even had the formula for GT20029. And the answer to that is probably they do not. They sell something else and they put it under the name GT20029. Please do not engage in these kind of behaviors. I know desperation can sometimes get into someone and drive him to do irrational things, but um, stay strong, stay mentally strong and try to combat hair loss in the meantime with the FDA approved treatments like finasteride and minoxidil until we reach the approval stage for pyrolutamide. And if this is your first video, watching uh, and knowing about pyrolutamide and exploring this compound, let me just give you a brief review about its efficacy and why are people so enthusiastic and waiting for this compound to be released. Pyrolutamide, once it will get released into the market, will be the most effective hair loss treatment in terms of improving the hair count and the hair shaft diameter from uh, the target area. In the phase two and phase three clinical trial, we concluded that there is an improvement of 16 hairs per square centimeter versus placebo uh, from baseline in six months, almost twice the efficacy of finasteride, which is the most superior at this time treatment for androgenetic alopecia. So you can see why people are waiting for pyrolutamide this much. So 16 hairs per square centimeter improvement and regarding safety profile, from the phase two clinical trial that results that we've got, uh, there are no systemic side effects to taking uh, or applying uh, pyrolutamide to your scalp. There is only topical administration associated adverse events like itching and pruritus and rash on the application side. So that's it. There's only one thing that I wanted to add up in this video. I am soon going to be launching a consultation service, a one-on-one -on -one consultation service with you guys who wish to uh, speak to me in a one hour or 30 minutes a Zoom call. You will have the choice for a certain fee. It will not be uh, expensive, I promise. But uh, the reason why I decided to do this is because I've been receiving a lot of emails, personalized emails that require for me to put a lot of time to read them and respond to them, whether it's about one particular compound or maybe one of you guys just want to vent about the psychological impact 
of uh, endogenetic alopecia on his life. So we can do these kinds of one-on-one -on -one meetups or consultation, but I will not be doing these consultations as a healthcare provider. I am uh, still a medical student in my final year, so I wanna make this clear. This will not be a doctor consultation. This will be a meetup between me and you guys, and I will make sure to include the link for that one-on-one -on -one consultation service in the next video that will be next week. And that video will probably be about cosmo RNA, so stay tuned. And with that being said, stay safe.